My name is Paul Kenrick. I'm a researcher in the Department of Paleontology in the Natural History Museum, London. My interests are in the fossil history of plant life on Earth. The specimens collected by Scott on the Terra Nova expedition were quite extensive. We've got uh, two specimens here, the first of which is actually a piece of fossil wood. We know it's wood because when you cut it very thin and look through it under a microscope, you can see the structure of the wood and the wood cells. So we know that this was part of, of a conifer tree and it had growth rings very much like you see in modern conifers. The second specimen that, that we have here doesn't look like very much, but it's actually quite an important specimen scientifically. This is the first evidence of a very important plant called Glossopteris and the Scott party were the first people to find evidence of this in Antarctica. It was found on the Beardmore Glacier, several hundred miles from the South Pole, on the way back from the polar journey, and the specimen itself was recovered from the sledge when the rescue party went out and found the bodies. The plant that Scott collected was actually not very well preserved, and he didn't recognize it for what it was at the time. It was only when it was studied later that it was realized that it actually was Glossopteris. And here we have a specimen that's very much more complete from India, showing a large feather-like leaf with a very, very clear and pronounced midrib and a very distinctive type of veination. So when you look at these in detail, at features on the, the Scott specimens, you can actually see that they're here and very similar to ones that we find in India and other Southern Hemisphere continents. The geologists on the Terra Nova expedition would have been very surprised to find fossil forests that far inland in continental Antarctica because there's very little in the way of vegetation on the continent today. So there's virtually nothing, no trees certainly, and um, the whole continent is glaciated. This is the first piece of evidence that Antarctica was part of the southern hemisphere continent called Gondwana, a large continent that existed hundreds of millions of years ago it broke up into fragments that now form the continents that we know today. So it's very important in our understanding of how the modern Earth has formed.